पाया भेजा है हितमान सीधम कलयसी विक्रमणि बलि मंदभुत वामन कलयसी विक्रमणि बलि मंदभुत वामन पदलखनि रजनित जन पावन पदलखनि रजनित जन पावन के समक्षित बामन रूप के समक्षित बामन Tarasi de Suranidi, but 
गाय जगदी सहारे गाय जगदी सहारे गाय जगदी सहारे नींद से This is a song sung by great Vaishnava poet Jayadev Goswami. The purport is that when there was devastation, the whole universe was flooded with water. The ultimate a dissolution of this material world will be, uh, first of all, there will be uh, no water. All water on the earth will be dried up by scorching heat of the sun. The sun will become twelve times stronger as it is at the present moment. In that way, you know, evaporate all the waters, the seas, and the oceans will be all evaporated. Therefore, all living creatures on the earth will die. And then, due to scorching heat, practically everything will be turned into ashes. Then there will be rain for hundred years, torrents of rain, like the trunk of the elephant. And thus the whole universe will be filled with water. That is called pralaya payadhi. Uh, at the time of devastation, pralaya, uh, the whole universe will be just like it is now filled with air. At that time, it will be filled up with water. So at that time, Vedas will be saved by the Lord on a boat, and the 
the boat will be stuck up in the wings of the great fish. That great fish is the incarnation of Krishna. Therefore, he is worshipping. Kesava dhita meena sarira jaya jagadish. So, meena sarira. And the next is khitiri ha vipula tare tishthati dava prishthe dharani dharana kina chakra garish. So, there will be churning. Next incarnation is tortoise. On the back of the tortoise, the Meru Parvat will be fixed up, or the world will rest on the back of the tortoise. This is second incarnation. First fish, and then tortoise. Then Varaha Avatar, man, demon, Hiranna. Hiranna Kashipa and Hiranakya. So he will, by his demonic activities, will throw the earth on the Garbho sea. There is a sea within this universe. Uh, half of the uh, globe uh, is filled up with Garbho Samudra. On which Garbhatsai Vishnu is there, and from him a lotus stem comes out, uh, wherein Brahma takes birth. So all the planets are hanging as different stems of this uh, original stem coming out from the abdomen of Garbhatsai Vishnu. Uh, so one demon of the name Hiranyaka, he will put this earth within this water. And at that time uh, the Lord will come out in the incarnation of Bara. The Bara incarnation uh, they came as a small uh, insect from the nose of Brahma. And when he put it on his hand, it began to increase. In this way, he assumed a very gigantic body, and with his tusk, he picked up the earth from within the water of Garbho Ocean. That is called Keshavadhita Varaharu. The next is Tabakara Kamala Bari Nakhamadhuta Singha Dalita Hiranna Kasipu Tanu Bhinga. Hiranna Gosipo, he was another demon who wanted to be immortal. So he took benediction from Brahma that he will not die uh, on land, in the sky, or in the water. So, in order to keep uh, as it is the benediction given by Brahma, Lord Krishna. Uh, tries to honor the words of his devotee. So Brahma gave him benediction, yes, he will not die on land, on water, on sky. But Nishangadev appeared as half lion, half man, because Hiranyakasipu also took benediction from Brahma that he will not be killed by any man or any animal. So he has assumed the form of something which you cannot say in man or animal, and he put the demon on his lap, which is neither land, water, or sky. And he wanted to not to be killed by any weapons. Therefore, uh, the Lord killed him with his nails. Nail is not considered as weapon. In this way, he wanted to cheat Brahma. But the Lord is so intelligent that he cheated Hiranyakasipu and killed him. Keshavadhita Narahari Rupa. Dalita Hiranyakasipu Tanu Bhinga. Just like with our nails, we can kill any insect. Take an ant, you can bifurcate it. 
Similarly, the Hiranyaka Jyoti says a giant demon. He was compared just like a little insect, and was killed by the nails of the Lord. Then the next incarnation is Bhamande. This Bhamande, a dwarf, he went to Balu Maharaj and asked him a three feet land, and his guru Shukracharya. Induced him not to promise because he is Vishnu, but Bali Maharaj was very much satisfied to offer something to Vishnu. He gave up the connection of his guru because he forbade him to serve Vishnu. Therefore, Bali Maharaj is one of the Maharaj. Uh, nobody can check the worship of Vishnu. If anyone checks, he may be guru, he may be father, he may be relative. He should be rejected immediately. Therefore, Pali Bali Maharaj is a Maharaj. He showed this example because his guru uh, put hindrances on the path of his worshiping Lord Vishnu. He gave up the connection of his guru. So, uh, by this process, he begged, but that was not begging practically. That was a uh, cheating. Uh, but Bali Maharaj agreed to be cheated by the Lord. That is the symptom of devotee. Uh, the devotee agrees to any action of the Lord. When Bali Maharaj saw that the Lord wanted to be cheat uh, by asking three feet land, he will take the whole universe. So he agreed. And by two feet, the whole universe was covered up and down. Then uh, Bhavan Dev asked him, the very to keep the third feet. So Bali Maharaj agreed, My Lord, you keep it on my head. I have got my body still. In this way, he purchased Lord Vishnu, Bhavan Dev. And Bhavan Dev remained as the doorkeeper of Bali Maharaj. So uh, by giving everything, Sarmatma Sapani Bali. Uh, he gave everything to Lord, and by that giving up, uh, he purchased the Lord. He remained voluntarily as doorkeeper of Bali Maharaj. So, Chalayasi Bikramani Bali Madhubhuta Bhavana Padanakha Nira Janita Janapa. When Bhavan Dev expanded his leg upwards uh, by his toe, uh, there was a hole in the a covering of the universe, and through that hole the Ganges water came from Vaikunt. Padanakha nira janita. And the Ganges water is flowing now in the universe, uh, sanctifying everywhere, wherever the Ganges water is there. Padanakha nira janita janapa. Then next incarnation is Bhrigupati, Parasurāma. Parasurāma is a saktāve So uh, he twenty-one times killed the Kshatriyas. Uh, so out of Parasurāma's fear, all the Kshatriyas, they migrated towards Europe, it is said in the history of Mahābhāra. So twenty-one times he attacked all the Kshatriyas. Uh, they are not in order, uh, so he killed them. And there is a big tank in Kurukshetra where all the bloods were reserved. Later on it became water. So Khatriya Rudhira, in order to pacify the aggrieved earth, he soaked the earth with the blood of the Kshatriyas. Snapayasi Payasi Samita Bhavata. Vitarasi dikshurani dikpati kamaniyam dasamukha mauli baling ramani. The next avatar is Ramchandra. Uh, so the Ravan, who had ten heads, he challenged the Lord, and Lord Ramchandra took out the challenge and killed him. Then, bahusi bapusi visadi basanang jaladavam halayati bhiti milita jamunam. And Baladev, wanted Jonah to come near him. So she was not coming, 
And therefore, with his plow, he wanted to mm-hmm. bifurcate the ark. And at that time, Jamuna submitted, and she came near to the Lord. Halayati uh, bhiti Jamuna. Halayati bhiti milita Jamuna abham. Jamuna was punished by Lord Baladev. Kesavadhita haladhara rup. Haladhara means plow. Haladhara rupa jaya jagadisa. Next, Buddha, Lord Buddha, nindasi jagga vidhi raha sutiya. Lord Buddha uh, defied the Vedic injunction because his mission was to stop animal killing. And in the Vedas, in some of the sacrifices, animal killing is prescribed. So those are so-called followers of the Vedic rules. Uh, they wanted to stop Buddha Dev in his mission for uh, stopping animal killing. So therefore, uh, when people wanted to give evidence from the Vedas, that in the Vedas there is description, uh, there is sanction of animal killing in sacrifices, why you are stopping. He, Nindasi, he defied. And because he defied the authority of Vedas, Therefore, Buddha philosophy was not accepted in India. Nasti, anyone who will deny the authority of the Veda, he will be called a Nasti, non believer. Uh, Vedas cannot be disrespected. So, in this way, Lord Buddha, to save the poor animals, he sometimes defied the injunction of the Veda. Kesavadhita Buddha Sarira Jaya Jagadisa. The next avatar is Kalkyavata. We are awaiting uh, after four hundred thousands of years from this time. The Kalkyavata will come and he'll take a sword on the horseback, just like a king. He'll simply go on killing all these non believers, godless creatures. There will be no more preaching. Uh, as in other incarnations, there is preaching. And Kalkyavata. The population of the whole world will be so much uh, reduced to animalism that there will be no more power to understand what is God or what is spiritualism. And it is already there in the Kali Yuga. It will increase. Uh, People will uh, have no power to understand this philosophy, God consciousness. So at that time there is no other alternative than to kill them all and is in another uh, Satyaju. That is the way of uh, our evolution. Sukhe Dukhi Sada Mitha 
सदा पपेरत नहीं सुनने रोले हमार जीवन सदा पापे रत नहीं क पुण्य लेश दिस इज ए संग संग बाय भक्तिविनोद ठाकुर इन वैष्णव हमलनेस वैष्णव इज ऑलवेज मीक एंड हमल सो ही इज डिस्क्राइबिंग द लाइफ ऑफ द पीपल इन जनरल taking himself to be one of them the people of general are like the description given here uh, he says that my life is always engaged in sinful activities and if you try to find out 
you will not find even a trace of pious activities, only full of sinful activities. And I am always inclined to give trouble to other living entities. That is my business. I want to see that others are suffering and I enjoy. Nija sukha lagi pape nahi dori. For my personal sense gratification, I do not uh, care for any sinful activities. That means I accept any kind of sinful activity if it is satisfactory to my senses. Daya hin shakthapo. I am not at all merciful and uh, only I see to my personal interest. As such, when others are suffering, I become very happy. And always talking lies, sada mithavas, even for ordinary things, I am accustomed to speak lies. Para dukkha sukha ka. And if one is suffering, that is very pleasant to me. Asesha kamana ridhi I have got lots of desire within my heart, and I am always angry and falsely prestigious, always puffed up with false pride. Madhamatta shada vishaya mahito. I am captivated in subject matters of sense gratification, and almost I am crazy. Hingsha Godbu Vibhushan. My ornaments are enviousness and false pride. Nidala Sahata Sukarji Virat. I am subdued or I am conquered by sleep and laziness. Sukarji Virat. And I always averse to pious activities. Akarji with Jogiyami, and I am very enthusiastic to perform impious activities. Pratishta lagiya sattachan. I always cheat others for my prestige. Lobo hato sada kami. I am conquered by greediness and always lusty. Ehano dujjan sajana buddhi. So I am so fallen, and I have no association of devotees, of aparadhi, offender, niranta, allas, subhokarjo sunno. In my life, there is not a bit of auspicious activities, sada narthamana, and my mind is always attracted by something mischievous. Nana dukhe jara jara. Therefore, at the fag end of my life, I am almost invalid eh, by all such sufferings. Bhartakyakhan upaya bhim. In my old age, I have no other alternative now tate dino akhinchan. Therefore, by force, I have now become very humble and meek. Bhakati vinod prabhura charane. Thus Bhakti vinod Thakur is offering his statement of life's activities at the lotus feet of the Supreme Lord. Jintamani Prakara Sadamasu Kalpa Breksha Lakshabrite Su Surabhira Vipalayantam Lakshmi Sahasasatok 
संभ्रमाशेपमान गोविंद हादेपुरश तमा भजा चिंतामणी प्रकर सदमसु कल्पृथनख्यावृतेषु सुरभी रवि पालयत लक्ष्मी सहस्रशत संभ्रम से गोविंद आदिपुरश तमाजामी बेनकन्वत अरबिंदनायताक्ष कन्वत अरबिंदनायताक्ष बहावत समसीता कन्दकोटी कमणीय विशेष शोभ गोविंद आदि पुरुष तमा भजा चिंतामणी प्रकर सदमसु कल्पवृक्ष लक्षावृतेषु सुरभीरवि पालय लक्ष्मी सहस्रशत संभ्रम से गोविंद आदिपुरश तमा भज मे आलोलचंद्रकलस वनमशी रत्नांगद प्रणय कैली कलाविलास श्याम त्रिभंगलित नियत प्रकाश गोविंद आदिपुरश तमा भजा चिंतामणी प्रकर सदमसु कल्पवृखलख्यावृतेषु सुरभी रवि पालय लक्ष्मी सहस्रशत संभ्रम से गोविंद आदिपुरश तमा भजा गोविंद आदिपुरश तमा भजा 
गोविंदम आदि पुरुषम तमाहं भजामि चिंतामणि अंगानि जस्स सकलं द्रियबित्रिमंति पश्चंति पांति कलयंति चिरंग जगंति अंगानि जस्स सकलं द्रियबित्रिमंति 